Alright, Joe, y'all saw those three birds. There's three gobblers out in that field. Several hens with them. I heard them gobbling early. I'm trying to make a big loop on through these pines and maybe get to where I can see them and figure out which direction they're gonna go. I can get ahead of them. I know where they roosted. I think they're gonna go the opposite way. I'm gonna try to stay back in this thicket thick enough they can't see me and get ahead of them. Fingers crossed. Y'all, I made a, made a, uh, made a big loop on those birds that were strutting in the middle of this field. I'm pretty sure I know I stayed out of sight, but I, I lost sight of them. Made a loop around, got all the way on the 180 degrees from them, from where you saw when I was filming them. Got on a little road where I killed the other turkey. Oh, I did have one hen come in there on me. I don't know if she was one of the hens with these birds or she came from another direction. I couldn't turn around and see her. Could have been other turkeys with her, but I'm going to I had no idea where these birds went. I'm going to walk out here while the grass is still wet, see if I can't tell. I know where they were strutting to see if I can't tell which way they went before the grass gets dry. this but right here in the grass right in here you can see where the turkeys were walking I think they were strutting they were roosted right out here between me and where I was where I started by my truck and immediately must have fallen that immediately came to the field the time I got here I was I was way down here when y'all saw me when we videoed them they were here strutting right here see where they were walking right here you can even see where they were walking in circles I don't know if, it's hard for me to tell on the camera if y'all can see that but I can see where they were walking in the grass it looks like they might have walked off this way Give it a little closer look here. I'm pretty sure I know the way they went. Instead of walking that way, I'm gonna make another big loop around them. Maybe these hens will start splitting off in these gobbles. We can get them to gobble again. Y'all, I walk right up on this thing. Pretty sure 
pretty snake. I don't know if I know what kind it is, but boy, it's pretty. Poisonous snake, but show sure it pretty. Kind of got markings, kind of like a copperhead, but I don't know if his head's not shaped like one. Y'all, I'm going to have to look him up when I get home. Y'all comment down below the videos. Tell me what this thing is. Y'all probably know a whole lot more about snakes than I do. Yeah, he's pretty though. Pretty markings on him. Alright y'all, we're going to plan B. <clears throat> we'll slip up here on this uh, power line, see if we can't look up and catch a bird after. Maybe we can make a move on those birds a while ago that y'all saw strutting. Went in a hole. I, I heard one hen later. I don't know if it was the hen that was with them or another bird. Maybe they left ahead of me. I kind of lost sight of them there for about... Well, for a la from the time I last saw them to the time I set up was probably 20 minutes. And they could have folded up and just gone any direction. So, it's getting on up. Let's see. It is uh, 9.30. Try to stay in the shadows here and ease up on this power line. Maybe we can catch a bird out. We can make a move on them or at least see something off. Happy to see those this morning, but I'm ready to see one. We can try to keep our eyes on him. All right, y'all. Never could locate any more birds. Rode around, looked at a couple of more spots. Uh, the birds still not doing right. They, 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 they're gobbling a little bit on the roost. Birds gobbled this morning pretty early. I guess it was those three gobbling on top of each other. We were pretty close to them, but they went to the field, you could see, so. Rather than running around down there and bumping them and messing with them late, they're just not, they're not gobbling when they hit the ground, so you just can't keep up with them unless you can see them. Just pulled out of there. I'll make plans to be back there in the morning, so go to the house, take care of some stuff. Uh, We'll just let this video keep going, and when we are when we come back, it'll be early morning. Probably going to go ahead and get set up before daylight like Jake and I did on the other bird, and hope for the best. I don't, I don't know if you can pattern a turkey, but these birds are being kind of consistent. So all we can do is try to get one step ahead of them. So... Uh, Oh, hang on. We're going to be right back in there with them in the morning.
about almost three hours. We got here real early. Thought we heard one hen in the tree early here close to us. And I think we heard four different gobblers in every direction around us. So we thought, well, we got to the right place at the right time. But real pretty clear morning, perfect morning. You think the birds come to this field to strut, but they didn't cooperate. One's been gobbling all morning behind us, maybe 500 yards off. He's probably gobbled 75 times. Had another one gobbling direction to where I was filming from yesterday on these turkeys keep strutting. He hit the ground, never gobbled again. And another bird off to our west was, thought we heard he gobbled here a few minutes ago, maybe just a few hundred yards off and heard one hen in there. Hadn't had a, I don't think we had a single gobbler gobble at a call this morning, no matter what we did. We've been here two and a half, three hours. One hen came in the field while ago, heard her flapping her wings for something. I'd sound like she flew into the field, but I think we just heard her stretching. And I saw her kind of running like she was chasing a bug. But we've been able to hear them gobble, but it's frustrating when you think you're where they ought to be. and. They don't come this way. We'll sit here just a few more minutes and then go look and maybe we can find one out somewhere else. Did you have fun? Yeah. She had her good mama old pad she sat on. She didn't have a turkey vest, but figured as long as we had plenty of off and a comfortable seat, we'd be good. She forgot her snacks though, so we gotta get back to the truck. y'all we wrapped up this morning's hunt we headed and we headed back toward the barn we saw three jakes run off the power line real quick didn't hear any didn't really stop and try to get on anymore we've been sitting by that tree so long but a pretty morning did hear some goblins i think it was three or four different birds they I don't know what's going on. They're just not gobbling on the ground. They gobble on the roost, hit the ground. And the one bird we did hear, did hear gobbling a lot was probably a half mile off. If you can hear one that far, he sounded like he was that far. But anyway, my turkey hunting partner got to go. She did pretty good. She didn't move around. I think she went to sleep. She said she didn't get her beauty sleep in this morning. So turkey might have heard her snoring. But that's all we got. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Appreciate you watching. At least we got to see those birds strutting yesterday. They'll be back in there. Ain't nobody shot them today. We'll try it again another day. So thank y'all.